What is the extent of homelessness in Bristol? My documentary will be based upon the rise in homelessness in Bristol and what the charity Emmaus is doing to help tackle it. I want to uncover the harsh reality of living on the streets in Bristol. I will be filming various locations in and around Bristol City Centre and interviewing two employers from Emmaus to gain an internal perspective on how they help the homeless and the amount of people who now need their help. I want my short film to be very thought provoking and to raise awareness of what life is like being homeless. I will be using very evocative photography and statistics to portray the extent and seriousness of homelessness in Bristol. Bristol has the second highest homeless population in the UK. I think it is an important issue which needs to be explored. My short film will be trying to find why Bristol has such a high percentage of homeless people and what life is truly like. According to Bristol City Council, latest figures found 86 people sleeping rough on the street in a single night in Bristol in November 2017, which is a rapid rise over the last seven years. There are over 1,150 night shelters and supported housing beds available in Bristol. I also want to centre my firm around Emmaus UK, which is a homeless charity that not only provides people a bed for the night, but also offers a home, meaningful work and a sense of belonging. They provide a community for homeless people to live safely and regain self-esteem. A major influence for my film was Professor Green's documentary, Hidden and Homeless. Within this documentary, Pro Green meets homeless people in Manchester and explores places where they are living, including underneath motorway bridges. He also explores charities which provide support for homeless people, such as hostels and secure living units. One thing which has inspired my creativity from Professor Green's documentary is the way in which it is filmed and the effects which are used. He uses many shots of just inner urban Manchester, particularly of housing estates and places which have succumbed to poverty. I too will be shooting locations in Bristol which are disadvantaged areas and have a high number of homelessness such as St Paul's and Stokes Croft. Another documentary which has inspired me is Stacey Dooley's documentary on homelessness. I like how she portrays compassion and empathy within her documentary. I will be using inspiration from this to highlight the sincerity of the issue. The film genre of my documentary will be observational as it will be documenting the natural flow of life and events as they happen. It will be an emotive type of documentary which will provoke thought and emotion from the audience. My documentary will be expository with primarily off-screen narration. I will be using discursive storytelling which gives priority to information, facts and logic. However, I will also utilise the cinematic qualities of documentary which emphasises experiential, emotive and an expressive storyline. To open my scenes within my film, I will be using establishing shots. An establishing shot is a shot at the head of a scene that clearly shows the location of the action. This shot often follows an aerial shot and is used to show where everything will happen. I will be filming several location shots in and around Bristol. The documentary will be grayscaled and shot in black and white. By doing this it will capture and express the tone of the documentary. I want to add a gritty effect throughout the film. The interview segment of my documentary will be filmed in colour to provide contrast and to represent hopefulness that their work is changing homeless people's lives. I will be using time-lapse photography and recording throughout my film. Time-lapse photography is a technique whereby the frequency at which film frames are captured is much more spread out than the frequency used to view the sequence. When played at normal speed, time appears to be moving faster and thus lapsing. By using this technique, I feel it will portray the idea that people in society are so busy with their own lives they fail to acknowledge people on the streets. I can also use time-lapse recording as a scene connector. For the interview segment of my film, I will be interviewing my sister who currently works for Emmaus. Alongside this, I will be interviewing her senior manager. I want to uncover how Emmaus UK views the rising homelessness and what work they do to, to tackle it. The purpose of the interviews in my film is to show the audience comprehensive information about the topic. Whilst recording the interviews, I will take into account the lighting, framing and camera angle, as this all affects the audi audience's perception of the person speaking. Close-up headshots and medium close-up shots when executing my interviews to draw focus to the person on camera. This will also help to build a relationship between the audience and the person being interviewed. It will be easier to connect emotions between the two. The camera framing in my film will be focusing on single shots. With permission from the people I will be filming using single shots, this is so my shot will capture one single subject. I feel this will draw the audience to specifically the person in the scene rather than what is in the background. 
The overall aim of my documentary is to effectively portray the extent of homelessness on the streets of Bristol and to explore what charities such as Emmaus are doing to help tackle it. I hope you've enjoyed my storyboard. Thank you for listening.